Hey guys, launching your own business is not easy, but I am here to show you that it's possible. My name is Lee Mokri. I'm the founder of Byte Technology, and today I am sitting down with Anna McNeary, the founder of Thrive Juicery. We have a great conversation about her background, getting into business, expanding into two stores, and then expanding into Byte Technologies unattended retail stores. She's launching, launching them at gyms and apartment buildings at, on university campuses, and she's having a lot of success. So we talk about her experience getting started, and it's a fun conversation. So please enjoy my interview with Anna. Hey, hey. Anna, how are you? Good morning. Hey, how are you? I How's am it going? Cool. good to put a face to a name. I like your yeah. office call. Oh, thanks. <laughs> you may hear my dogs scratching at the door behind me, but... Oh, yeah. The same here. I'm uh, I'm building some shelves like that, so I admire your shelves. They look nice. Oh, thanks. thanks. Yeah. So, hey, I'm recording this if you don't mind. Cool. And what I wanted to do is just kind of spend a couple minutes learning about your journey, and you know, like I like I mentioned in my email, I think it it relates well to what a lot of our clients are going through and and potential prospects, and kind of wanted to share that story and and uh, hear how things are going. Yeah, I actually told Dan um, the first time I spoke to him that you guys should really reach out to Juice Puppies because the Bite solution is huge in our world. Yeah. Um, when we opened Thrive, we had you know fitness studios coming to us all the time saying we just want to sell your juices at Thrive and I mean at their uh, facilities. And um, one of the big constraints in the juice world is that unless it's a pasteurized product, you have to buy it directly from the producer. Yeah. So even if you buy our product in a grocery store, a Whole Foods, it has to be pasteurized, which to us is an integrity we're not willing to give up. Okay. So um, an unpasteurized product is raw with all the live phytonutrients, and that's degraded. Even if there's different pasteurization processes out there these days, high pressure, but in some capacity, they're degraded by doing anything to the live active phytonutrients. So sure. um that's why these bite machines are great because the rules are just such that the juice has to be purchased from Thrive. Yeah, you've got to go direct. Yep. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, let's yeah. before we jump into the to the specifics, let's 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 come back a bit. And I'd love to hear. I mean, I read the roots part of your part of your website, and yeah. it's very that last sentence is very impactful. Let me just, let me just read it. I think I've got it up here. Cool. What it says: Our mission is to help. The ill overcome to help the well feel even better and to help everyone discover the true potential. That's not simply pure juices. That's a pure purpose. That's pretty cool to read. Yeah. That. So where did where did that come from? So um, my husband and I were both student athletes at U of M, uh, University of Michigan here, and he um, works in the real estate world. Mm -hmm. And I was home with our kids at the time, but I was a design engineer for Toyota prior to having kids. And at 37, he found himself on a health journey, um, which he was originally diagnosed with celiac, but it actually ended up being lung cancer. Okay. And when they diagnosed him with celiac, he's like, I'm going to do a juice cleanse and I'm going to reset my whole body. And then I'm going to be able to handle gluten again. Yeah. And so uh, that was kind of where we started. Well, that wasn't the end result, of course, but we felt this new um just kind of new energy and power and well-being that we hadn't had before. And, you know, again, we are health conscious. We are, you know, really into exercise. So it's not like we were these slouches that just didn't take care of ourselves, sure. but it was really just this whole new um, feeling of well-being. And so after he got better, we continued to juice through his whole cancer journey. And, you know, we bought a juicer, we cold press at home with our kids. We'd have the neighbors come over and we just sort of got really wrapped up into it. Um, Ann Arbor, Michigan is a huge community of wellness. So we've got the University of Michigan Hospital, which is one of the best in the country. We've got, you know, for the, a town our size, we have two Whole Foods. Our, our, we have so many supermarkets that are all based on wellness. And we thought, why do we not have a juicery? I know where you are in California, they're on every corner, but still to this day in Ann Arbor, we didn't have one. And so um, Thrive was born more out of this sense of calling, like we need to provide this to our community. Uh, the benefits that we felt from these products were just phenomenal. And as we shared them with our neighbors that when we, you know, really got into just juicing at home, they felt the same way. And so that was kind of the birth of Thrive as he, his um, recovery meant that he had to do a lot of resting and couldn't be on the road traveling like he was used to doing. And so it was a great opportunity for us to kind of 
put all of the pieces into place that we could launch this new, you know, small business in Ann Arbor. That's great. How's he doing now? He's doing great. That's fantastic. He's doing really well. Yeah. He's so, doing great. so how long have you had your store open and you have that single store? No, we have two. We opened the first one in November of 2018. And we opened the second one in October of 2019. Okay. So about 11 I, months later. I saw Ann Arbor just started opening their restaurants again. So you guys are back open, your doors are open? Yeah, well, so our um, our first location is in a complex with a Trader Joe's supermarket and it's just a really busy place. So that one never did close. Um, we just had a carry out and we're actually still doing that. For our concept, it's smoothies, salads, toasts, it's okay to do carry out and we feel like we're kind of protecting our employees at this point, uh -huh. but we'll go back to dine in, you know, when we feel better about it, we have that new strand right now. So we're just kind of feeling it out and trying to keep everyone safe. Yeah. I think, I think everybody is. Yeah. I'm in, I'm in my basement. <laughs> <laughs> so did you meet your husband playing sports and did you guys play the same sport? No, he played football and I ran track. Oh. Um, but we were put in the same dorm. They put all the athletes together. So we met our freshman year in the dorms. Uh, right. Didn't start dating right away, but that's where we met. Cool. And yeah. and how's the dynamic been? I know your your husband's in real estate, but yeah. how's the dynamic been with you starting the business and him kind of working alongside you? Yeah, it's cool. Um, we have different strengths that are very different from one another. So um, being an engineer, I'm very much in the details and the running the business and the logistics and operations. And he's very much in the marketing kind of, you know, take the step back and see the big picture really well. And so we make a really great team. Um, he's not as intricately involved in the day to day, which ends up being a good thing because he can kind of see things that I might not see or, sure. um, so interestingly, he, the hospitals around us had contacted us and wanted to sell, um, have us somehow be able to provide our juice there. And he started looking into the spending concept, you know, a couple of years ago, honestly. Uh -huh. And so he's really, he's traveling all the time, not now in COVID. And so he has seen different concepts in New York City and other cities where he's like, oh my gosh, we can do this. And uh -huh. so um, he kind of gets those ideas. And being out and about and seeing what's going on in all these big cities around uh, the U.S., he is able to bring those back to me and bring back products like, hey, you know, in our grab and go, we should look at this or taste this or whatever. So I think we make a good team uh -huh. in that I'm in the details and he's kind of in the big picture. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And why, why get into vending? Why not just open another store? So we did open another store right downtown Ann Arbor. Um, and... That's great. But the thing with juicing and with our products is they need to be convenient and accessible. So there's lots of concepts out there that don't do things the way we do things. But if it's right next door to you, you're probably going to go grab your smoothie from there mm -hmm. as opposed to driving across town to grab it from us. Mm -hmm. uh, right when you finish a workout or finish a doctor's appointment or finish a stretch session, you know, having that juice right then and there is really helps you to integrate it into your lifestyle, which is what we're all about. We're about lifestyle. And um, you can have one juice and maybe feel better, but if you start integrating it into your life often, you're really going to feel the benefits of it. So for us, it's the convenience factor that's so important. Um, and our shelf life's really short. And so we need to have it, you know, somewhere it's high traffic, it's going to sell quickly and people can have it frequently. What is your shelf life? Uh, it depends on the product, but four to five days on the juices. Yeah, that is short. Yeah. That that whole food is medicine movement. I mean, I'm a big believer in it. Yeah. <clears throat> There's a number of companies out here in the Bay Area that that kind of follow that ethos. Um, yeah. I just got a newsletter for a food is medicine um, uh, conference. That's that's in May. It's virtual, but there is oh, cool. this movement. Yeah. Um, and, it's, and it's exciting to see. Yeah. And it's, there's so much truth to it. I mean, that's what's cool about this whole thing is you can go to bed at night knowing it, it's not it's a come try us and it, you'll see for yourself kind of concept. It's not a, we don't have to prove it to anybody. We don't have to, you know, like really shove it down anybody's throats, like come try it and you will feel it yeah. and you, you'll want it just like you want your coffee every day. You'll want to have that juice in your life. Yeah. You can certainly feel the difference. Yeah. Um, so you is, it's kind of a unique story because you reached out in mid December and yeah. I, we got, an inbound through our website and it was it was late it was evening here in california so it must have been real yeah. late over there and it i just, i just decided to give you a call out of the blue i think you and i were texting back and forth you said yeah give me a call 
we and then were. From there, things move pretty quickly. Um, you, yeah. I know you were looking at or maybe had purchased uh, another type of vending machine, more like a um, like a uh, like a conveyor belt type vending machine. And yep. um, and I think you and I were chatting about it, and your husband was in the background, and and it was really expensive, and you wanted to be able to deploy these kind of broader and not have to incur that upfront the capex expense. And that's why Byte was a good fit for you. So you started with a single machine in late December, was it? Early January, maybe? Well, we got it um, January 7th is when it landed in our store. Okay. And you put that into a fitness center? We did. Okay. Yeah. So just to um, more, you know, applause to you guys is that we purchased and started the design process with this larger machine that we are um, working on in November and we still don't have it. Um, it's been so much work on my end for that, developing the graphics and getting it up and going. It's still not going and we're ready to roll out several more bites, you know, here shortly. So when you say it's, you know, ready to open and go, it, it really is. And for us, um, because our products are such a short shelf life to have something that's smaller in size is something these businesses are more open to having. They don't need some huge space to put them in. Um, and then we can sell the products quickly and keep restocking them as opposed to worrying about, I have to fill this machine so it looks pretty, but then this you know product's gonna expire. So we can offer the freshest, best product more quickly, have the turnover and, and roll it out really fast because you guys get it to us basically when we say go and um, we can have it stocked and ready to go. I have someone that just comes and puts our branding on the sides of it the day we get it. And then we fill it the next day and there we go. And it's ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. It, I mean, that is one thing that we talked about on the on the call, just kind of the turnkey aspect of it, being able to wheel it into place. Uh, yeah. Very easy for your husband being a football to wheel it into place and yeah. plug it in. And uh, it automatically connects to the internet, stock it up with your with your juices, and then it's ready to go. And you've had a lot of success finding locations. I know this is, I think you are our first client in Ann, in Ann Arbor. Yeah. But, um, how, how has that been kind of? Well, like I mentioned before, really soon after we opened Thrive, people were coming to us, doctor's offices, fitness studios, wanting it to be more accessible because that's important for this product. Mm -hmm. So we have in our back pocket, you know, a number of people that we have not had a solution for and Bite's the perfect solution. Um, cold press juicing is a labor of love and it takes a lot of labor. So we don't want to roll out, you know, 20 machines and not be able to keep them going. So we want to do it kind of one at a time, really intensely mm -hmm. um, so that we nail it. So that's our plan, but we do have these um, customers in our, you know, back pocket that have been asking for some time for a solution like this. And we just didn't have one. Um, the reason I found you is we were in Atlanta airport. Uh, it was Thanksgiving and I saw this like, I don't think it was Best Buy, but that sort of product machine uh -huh. where I saw this customer open it and he was like fiddling with all these electronics and then he closed it and I'm like, what the heck just happened? <laughs> and so I started thinking, is there one like that for food? Yeah. You know, and that's how I came across you guys um, just by Googling. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. I'm glad you found us. Yeah, me too. You've been a great partner. Um, good deal. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time because I know sure. you've got a lot going on, but um, anything we can help you with or any questions for us or... Uh, no, I think you do, since I have another, you know, uh, company to compare my journey with, because they've been pretty side by side, I just want to say that I think you guys do such an awesome job. You, there's tutorials, if I have a question, I've been able to really find the answer so easily. Um, and the, all the data and analytics that come with it. It's just awesome. As a food service person, I'm constantly worried about, oh my gosh, is the refrigerator the right temperature? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know, and anything I'm going to worry about, I can go on my dashboard and figure out. So I just want to commend you guys for what you've done. And from my perspective as a new customer, it's the answers are all there. The things that have come up for me, I'm easily able to find the answers. So thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. I mean, for our first interview, this is going to be a, a hard one to top. So thank you. Oh, you're sweet. Well, cool. <laughs> Thanks for including me. Yeah. Well, um, good luck to- All right. We'll be in touch. Yeah. That sounds good. Thanks. You too. All right. Take care. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You too. Bye-bye.